this is a video response <clears throat> to those that ever doubted me and took me for granted. I am going to keep getting up and I am going to keep pushing forward in regards to living the life that I deserve that best serves God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. And those of you that thought that you actually blew out my flame, you are going to be extremely pissed off. Royally pissed off. When you begin to see me continue to level up, level up, level up, level up to the point where I am above the clouds and none of you, and I mean none of you, will ever, and I mean ever, be able to catch up with me. And I am going to use your attempted spiritual and psychological attacks upon me as stepping stones to get me there. And as I keep getting up, I can't wait to see each and every one of your heads turn away from my face, looking at the ground in disappointment, as if to say, who is this guy? Why is he on fire? Why is he different than us? What is he? I am going to leave so many questions running within your head to the point where you are defeated and you are crushed. And let this be a life lesson that you never in a million years will be above me. It's ironic though, because you're always the same people that keep on attempting to worm your way back into my life after everything that you've inflicted upon me in the hopes that I'm going to take you back. In other words, you convince yourselves that I'm going to take you back after everything that you've inflicted upon me. No, it doesn't work like that. Sure. I'll have no problem unconditionally, uh, unconditionally loving and forgiving you from afar. But all connection, all ties, are done with. Because I don't have time for wasters. I don't have time for underachievers. I don't have time for Debbie Downers. I sure as hell do not have time for dream killers. You either contribute to my life and bring to my table... Or I'm going to leave you eating the dust particles from off the face of the earth. And I am going to leave you to fight amongst yourselves for the breadcrumbs, the slops. That's left. That's been passed around pretty much by every Tom, Dick and Harry because that, just, that is all you're entitled to those of you that attempted to blow out my fire as you will I want you to know something and this I hope that it haunts your dreams at night I and I mean I could well have been your golden ticket out of your own nightmare of a life Oh yeah, I could have been your golden ticket. But no, you still, to this day, felt it necessary to keep on playing games. And you felt it necessary to take advantage of my kindness. Better yet, you felt it necessary to convince yourselves that you have to be in competition with me. You're not in competition with me. You're in competition with yourselves. Just like I'm in competition with myself. From the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed at night. Every time I look in that mirror. And the guy stares back at me. That is who I'm trying to better. 
That is who I am trying to compete with. Whether I win, whether I lose, I honestly don't care. Because I know deep down everything's going to be worth it in the end. And all of the connections that I once had with people that have now been cast within the lake of fire, filled with molten rock and brimstone, you're going to regret, and I mean you are going to regret treating me the way that you treated me. Because you are still trapped and enslaved within your own minds. And it is punishing you severely. Because within a lot of you, I see misery. I see pain and suffering. I did try warning each and every one of you that you are not getting away with Jack and everything is witnessed and approved via the Holy Spirit and you will be held accountable slash responsible for your actions. I tried warning each and every one of you but no, you thought your pride and your egos knew best and now you have to live with the consequences. Because you are left, like I said, with the underachievers of this world, the deadbeats, the demonic influences that couldn't care less about any of you. You're left with virtually nothing and no one. And you've thrown away a golden ticket that could have been your way out of your prison cell of a life. All for these morons. Congratulations, well done. And your punishment, like I said, is you have to live with the consequences. You are left with these people because you're not entitled to anything that I have to offer. You get my unconditional love and forgiveness, like I said, it's freely given. Access to my life and my circle, on the other hand, is denied. Because you have shown me, uh, shown me numerous of times that you're not willing to put in the psychological and spiritual work in order to bring to my table my life and my circle. You've shown, me, you've shown me more times than I can actually begin to count as to why I shouldn't allow you in my life in the first place. Because like I said, we live in a society, a society today, people, where people change. Oh yeah, people change faster than the flick of light. Or better yet, people change faster than the speed of light, might I add. One minute they could be genuine, content, and happy with what you have to offer. But as soon as you're leveling up, their demeanor changes. They have to try and blow out your candle in order to make themselves better. But like I said, these very same people are only going to regret it later on. Because I've already leaped a thousand steps ahead of these morons and I will continue to leap thousands upon thousands upon thousands more steps ahead to the point where you are so far behind me you're going to end up crying yourselves to sleep at night <laughs> why did I have to do what I did you are the ones that are essentially going to put on these Oscar performances in the hopes that it's going to win my heart, my mind, and my soul back into your lives. No, I can see through it all. It's BS. It's nonsense. I don't live on emotion and feeling like the world. Because I use any fleeting feeling and emotion to build emotional maturity emotional intelligence 
and when the right type of pe uh, the right type of people come along, I will know whether or not there's a genuine connection because I get to choose the emotion that I share with that particular said person in that given moment, whether it be surprise, happiness, joy, gratitude, peace. And only God knows what other biblical emotion for that matter. The point I'm trying to make is I'm beginning to get a better understanding now as to who's genuinely in my corner contributing to that strength that God gives me in order to kick me up the arse when I do have those days where I come close to throw myself over the edge and these people they are my guardian angels And when my time comes to shine, I'm sure as hell not going to forget any of you. And I will give back, folds over. And I will contribute to your lives, folds over. Oh, it gets better than that. Those of you that were in my corner, I will go out of my way and I will move mountains for you to the point where you are so elevated and content with life your souls are quite literally above the clouds and that's for the rest of you that felt it necessary to take me for granted like I said you're left eating the dust particles from off the face of the earth and your regret is seeing me Get off my ass, 24-7, pushing forward at the gym, bettering myself. And I know people, like I said at night, wait outside mine in the car parks trying to project their demonic influences onto me in the hopes that it will crush me and break me into living like them. Well, guess what? Newsflash dummies. I know more than I let on. And these attempts that you try projecting onto me, they're only gonna bite you in the arse all the more. And they are only going to tip you over the edge to the point where you are the ones left crushed and defeated, not me. <laughs> so, like I said, don't come running back to me crying, begging and pleading for me to take you back later on because I'm already steps ahead of the game. I'm already steps ahead. And I don't plan on backing down for anyone's business. It is what it is. Let this lion roar. And quite literally tear the shite out of anyone that gets in his way. Except for those, like I said, that have my heart, soul and mind at interest. End of discussion.